بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد The wives of the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم رضي الله تعالى عنهم وهن أجمعين are the best women of this ummah of this nation because of their status with the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They are the mothers of the believers, they are the wives of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the hereafter, and due to their purification from abominable acts and sins. For this reason anyone who slanders them commits kufr because it necessitates the debasement and defilement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam his household. The best of his wives are Khadija and Aishata, radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. Each one of them is better than the other from a particular angle or in a particular way. For example, the distinction of Khadija, radiallahu ta'ala anha, is she was the first one to believe in the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She supported him in the beginning stages of his messengership or prophethood. She is the mother of most of his children. Rather, of all of them except Ibrahim, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, she occupied such a great status with him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, such that he always remembered her, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiallahu ta'ala anha. The Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, never married anyone else along with her until she died, radiallahu ta'ala anha, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. The distinction of Aisha عنها, is that she had good companionship with the Prophet وسلم, during his latter years. Allah had cleared her in the Quran, in his speech, from what the people of fabrication accused her of. عنها, Allah revealed verses regarding her such that they will be recited until the day of, uh, of, of judgment. She preserved what no woman besides her preserved of the guidance and the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. So she's a preserved of the sunnah. She's from Ahl Hadith. Radiallahu She disseminated much knowledge in the ummah of Muhammad ﷺ. And the Prophet ﷺ did not marry a virgin besides her. Anha. Thus her um, marital development and training was by the Prophet ﷺ. And the Prophet ﷺ said about her, the superiority of Aisha over women is like the superior, superiority of a, far, a farid, a type of food made of bread, uh, broth and meat, over the rest of the foods. Meaning that she had such a great and esteemed status with the Prophet ﷺ. She is the mother of the believers. عنها. So how is it a people could make it from their creed to be little, slander, curse, accuse her of falsehood and evil? And may Allah belittle them in this life as well as in the next for speaking ill. Of the companions of the Prophet sallallahu in general, and Aisha anha and the other wives of the Prophet sallallahu specifically. This shows us how these individuals, the Rafida, the Nawaz, you know, the and these other groups of Shia who speak ill of the wives of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een that these people are on guidance, uh, misguidance beyond misguidance. You know, there is no misguidance after misguidance. They, they've just went to the, to the fullest bounds. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ And we ask Allah the Almighty to guide those individuals who speak ill of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'een to guide them to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or at least protect us completely and the world from their harm and their filth. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ala Nabiya Muhammad Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sahbihi Wasallam